This hard SAT question is just asking us to find the distinct real solutions of the given quadratic equation. Now on the SAT you should have a graphing calculator and you can plug this equation into the graphing calculator and count how many times the quadratic crosses the x-axis. So this blue one here crosses two times. If you have a quadratic that comes down and just kisses the x-axis like the red one here that would be one solution. And then if you have another quadratic that's shifted upward or downward that doesn't cross the x-axis that would be zero solutions. But regardless you can't have infinitely many solutions so we can cross off D. Now I've given you a hint for if you want to solve this without a graphing calculator. You can use what's called the discriminant. If we have a quadratic equation in the standard quadratic form, then the discriminant of that quadratic is given by b squared minus 4ac. Now the trick here is if we plug in our coefficients, ra, rb, rc, based on the output we can tell how many distinct real solutions we have. So if the discriminant is positive or greater than zero, we have two distinct real solutions. If the discriminant is equal to zero, we only have one distinct real solution. And if the discriminant is negative, we have zero. So plugging in our values, a of 1, b of negative 12, c of 27, we can figure out that the discriminant is equal to 144 minus 108. And I know it's getting hard to see here, but eventually we calculate that the discriminant is 36. 36 is obviously a positive number. It's greater than zero. And so therefore, without even looking at a graph, we've determined that there are exactly two real solutions. It would obviously be quicker just to graph this, but when you're taking a standardized test, it's always nice to have more tools in your toolkit than you need in reality. Thanks for watching.